Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I'm your host, Eric Smith, and today I'm talking about Vicky Beautiful by Summer Cannon. Uh, and I don't know who the publisher is, so that's all I have to say about that. Alright, so, uh, Vicky Beautiful. You have three best friends since childhood, Sasha, Bryn, and Vicky. And every year for each other's birthdays, they do crazy stuff. They get together. They have a lot of fun. Well, now it's Vicky's 40th birthday. Uh, they're celebrating. She survived cancer. And uh, so Sasha and Bryn come over to Vicky's place with uh, their husbands. Vicky's husband is there. Uh, Vicky has two, or, yeah, two kids. Uh, they're going to go off. Uh, and stay at a friend's house because everybody's it's gonna be a weekend long event um, and I guess I mean I'll tell you what's on the back of the book it can't really be a spoiler I guess if it's on the back of the book uh, at dinner Vicky announces that the cancer is back it's aggressive uh, and she has a very very short time left to live um, and then uh, the next morning Again, this is all in the back of the book, even though it's a very small book. The next morning, uh, Sasha and Bryn find out that Vicky has committed suicide. She doesn't want to go through the painful cancer death. She's committed suicide, and Vicky's husband announces Vicky's last request. And that's where the craziness starts. And that's it in a nutshell. All right, so... Vicky Beautiful Summer Canon. It's going to be difficult to talk about such a short little book. And it is just a little novella. Um, so I guess, first of all, it's uh, the writing is fine. I'm going to get to some issues there in a moment. Uh, the important part is the characters. And uh, the characters are all pretty neat, uh, pretty good. The story is told in first person. And I want to say that Sasha is the one telling the story. Uh, so f first we're introduced to Sasha. She's, uh, she's telling us about the friendship between the three of them, Sasha, Bryn, and Vicky. And we learn uh, about Vicky's obsession with beauty. Uh, and the title, Vicky Beautiful comes from, let's say they see a wonderful a house. It's really neat. It's it's well decorated. And they might say, well, it's beautiful, but it's not Vicky beautiful. Vicky has super high standards. Um, and so, of course, her house is perfect. She's perfect. Um, she married rich. Uh, and she, But she loves the guy. She's very much in love with her husband. He loves her. And so she's able, she affords, she has plastic surgery to keep herself looking beautiful, her, her children are beautiful, everything. So it's, it's, beauty is at the core of Vicky. So, um, so we get to know these characters, um, and, and we do learn why Vicky has this obsession. We get to know their husbands a little bit, uh, and then we, we, we get into the, the, the big dinner and the, bad the big negative bad announcement and this is all pretty interesting it's a very slow burn kind of story it builds up to that point where as it says on the back so no spoilers vicky has committed suicide um and then of course we learn what her last request is and that's where things take that turn as i said and that's where the writing kind of really shines it's I don't want to give away what it is, although the back kind of, I mean, if you read the back, it's kind of easy to figure it out, and, uh, but, um, but, but it's not like that's a twist, it's, it's, it, it can be a surprise, but that's, that's where things get, <sighs> creepy isn't necessarily the right word, emotional, definitely, dramatic, tense, and while things don't get overly graphic, 
Um, I suppose depending on one's level of tolerance. Certainly not. This isn't hardcore horror. Um, the to me, as I was reading this, the idea of what was going on, thinking actually thinking about what's happening was far more disturbing than, say, the descriptions of what's happening, if that makes any sense. But it is very effective. Um, I feel that it, it is. It's, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's going to, it got under my skin a little bit. But I, I really tried, because it's so short, I really tried to immerse myself in what was going on. And so I did get this wave of, wow, that's, oh, this is disturbing. Um, so it's really impressive in that way. Uh, getting back to the writing, it's um, it flows relatively smoothly, maybe a little rough, generally, but my one issue, and after I finished reading the book, I uh, went on Amazon and I looked at some other reviews, as I do on occasion, and one of the reviewers mentioned this thing that I'm about to mention and that's it's um, the author Summer Cannon on occasion will reuse the same word twice in the same sentence in close proximity and it it becomes a stumbling block in the reading it doesn't flow naturally um, for example and this isn't a great example and it's not even I think it's close to something that's in the book, but it's not exactly what's in the book. But it will just say something like, the character stopped at the door, looked back over their shoulder, and walked through the door. Not the best example, but, you know, there's, it's clunky to me. And using door twice that way. Um you know, it could be they stopped, looked back over their shoulder, then walked through the door, or whatever. And there are a few instances of this. And it's not the worst thing in the world, but it does sort of pull me out because of the the unnatural flow of the, the writing in those particular instances. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's just a little thing. Um, so it's, but it is, it's a very effective, I feel very effective disturbing story um, I, I, I've never read anything by Summer Cannon before I don't believe uh, I know I've not read anything just by her she may be in one or an anthology I've read but I don't think so so I was a little little nervous about you know dipping my toe into uh, a new author's book especially um, someone I don't whose whose work I'm not familiar with uh, but I've heard good things about this and it's it's one of those books I got uh, with my tax return money uh, when I feel I have a little bit extra I can I can take some chances and this was definitely worth it um, so all of that being said I think I covered the salient points um, I, I like the characters uh, they're they're well-drawn characters uh, it definitely gets under the skin, um, but a few issues. I think that covers it. It's a very, like I said, it's, it's definitely packs an emotional punch. Again, without, I don't want to give away what's going on, but there is a lot of, uh, well, I'm just repeating myself now, a lot of drama, a lot of emotion, a lot of build, um, and the ending uh, anyway, so, all that being said, time to get to the rating. So, Vicky Beautiful by Summer Cannon. Um, wasn't sure what to draw for the rating, so I basically just went with, and it's, it's going to be a very, it's, oh, one of the most simplistic drawings ever. Um, I, I couldn't decide what to do. So I took my cues from the cover, and you can see the back cover is sort of a wraparound cover. Uh, I just took my cues from this, and I gave Vicky Beautiful by Summer Cannon four out of five place settings. And that's supposed to be blood on there just to make it, you know, it is a 
horror, in my air quotes, horror novel. I mean, yeah, it's horror. I don't know why I'm doing air quotes. Just to give it a little color, a little something, I put uh, some blood on the plates. But four out of five place settings, um, simply because uh, the writing, overall, pretty good. I, but I'm not going to say clean. It, it does feel a little rough-ish. And then you do have that issue that I talked about. So not a perfect score, but four out of five. It is definitely an effective story. Um, I, I'm, I would guess that it certainly had the effect that the author intended. Um, so, I mean, that's that's it. It's it's a very short book. Not much I can say about it without giving away too much. So this is kind of a short review. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Uh, we just post spoiler warnings here at the Low Budget Review Show. Uh, I will have at least one, possibly two links for this book in the description below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And that's it for this low budget, this episode, excuse me, of the Low Budget Review Show. I have been your host, Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.